At number five, at number five, I'd probably put Arsenal. And you might think that's funny, you know, being a Spurs fan, but that Arsenal side when they had Fabregas, you know, and they were they were a, a strong team. They had Adebayor playing up front for them. I mean, they were they moved the ball so well, you couldn't get the ball off them. Um, completely different now, but yeah, that that side in that moment when I was playing for Tottenham, that was a huge game. It's one I always look forward to, but it was always a really tough one, and they were a really good side. Um, number four, I'd actually put Barcelona. And I played against Pep Guardiola's Barcelona in a pre-season tournament at Wembley. And I, I only I played the first 45 minutes. And I swear to God, I've never walked off a pitch and thought, wow. I, I couldn't get... I, did, I don't think I touched the ball. You know, for 45 minutes, that was when Yaya Torre was there. Um, you know, that Bojan, yeah, Messi. Like, it, honestly, the team was a joke. They were so good. And you couldn't get the ball off him. It was ridiculous. Um, number three. Right. N- number three, I'd say Man City. When they first started playing um, that sort of attractive football. Um, playing against Man City was always a tough game. But at the Etihad, yeah, it was always really hard. They stuck, they went, all of a sudden, they went for that period of, of signing big players. And, yeah, it was on the, on the, on the end of a few, a few big hidings. One and two are easy. Because that it was it, the easiest ones. I'll put. I'll, I'm going to put Liverpool at number two. Liverpool with Gerrard, Alonso, Mascherano, Fernando Torres, Jamie Carragher. This team was unbelievable. It was every time I went to Anfield, I think we got battered four or five nil. You, like they was a joke. Alonso would pass you off the pitch. Mascherano. Would bully up, and then Gerard just had everything. You couldn't get near the guy; he was everywhere. He played right wing, left wing, up front, at the back. He just—he was awesome. That team was—I can't believe that team didn't win a Premier League title. To be honest, they should have because that team was outrageous. Um, and then number one, the easy one for me, like Manchester United of old, Fergie years. You know, playing against Paul Scholes, Carrick, Wayne Rooney, Tevez, Ronaldo, Giggs. I mean, Rio Ferdinand, Vidic, they just didn't have a bad player in the team. You turn up at Old Trafford and every single player that you took, you ask any player in that era, turning up at Old Trafford, unless you were Liverpool, you were literally turning up saying, let's not try and get beat three or four nil. And most of the time you did. I got beat five, four, three, one. That team was, you know, Fergie had that team so drilled, but he had world-class players. And, and they just they just expressed themselves. They went out there, couldn't get near them. Um, and yeah, almost, it's nostalgic, actually, thinking about... You think how far Manchester United have fallen, how far they are from that. That team was on another planet. <laughs>